Welcome to sunny Denmark for a uh, very early look at the MG5 facelift. Now, this, well, it's not terribly sexy, it's not terribly fast, it's not really that desirable, but it is one of the best selling EVs in the UK. And you can really see why, because it's one of very few pure electric cars that's a small estate and we love a small estate. They're compact and they're practical. It's got loads of equipment and it's great value. So up until now, these have been available for under 30,000 pounds. And it got a longer range battery earlier in 2022 as well, with a range of up to 249 miles. It'll go on sale later this year. One of the big upgrades is the styling. So you can see it's much sharper. I wouldn't say it's that striking. And I have to say, rivals that are coming out include the Peugeot 308 Estate and also the Vauxhall Astra. And I think both of those, maybe they have a little bit more to them, but I do think MG's done a good job of sort of cleaning this up and giving a bit more presence on the road, let's say. This has gone up in price for the facelift. So you're now looking at 31,000 pounds up to about 34,000 pounds in the UK. That's still really competitive with rivals like the Nissan Leaf, ID3, all of that stuff. So still a really, really compelling prospect, the MG5. So let's go and see what it's like. This is now a smart looking car, no doubt, and a huge improvement on the old MG5. Practicality is very good, with the 479 litre boot offering plenty of space for luggage and a low load lip that'll make it easy to load a big dog or a chunky buggy. The rear seats fold down in a 60-40 split, but it is a shame that they don't fold flat. At least with passengers in the back, there is plenty of head and leg room, and there's a centre armrest with two cup holders as well. The new infotainment system features all of the features you want, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's a really useful upgrade on the previous MG5, but it's not flawless. The screen needs quite a hard prod to get it to respond, and it's frustrating that the climate controls are integrated into the screen but aren't always visible. The MG5 gets a peak charging rate of 87 kilowatts, which isn't as fast as some rivals, but is still good enough for a 100 mile top up in around 25 minutes if you plug into a fast enough DC rapid charging station. A full charge at a normal home wall box will take under 10 hours. One of the big improvements for this facelifted MG5 is the infotainment, and they've also done some work on the interior finish up here and I think they've done a really good job I like the sort of metal finish and the feel of this sort of textile finish on the dash it's all really very nice I think where you see the cost saving in the MG5 is particularly you know the finish around those back seats when you drop them it's comfy too so I quite like the driving position this is a reasonably high spec model they haven't confirmed the trims in the UK yet as for how it drives well not much has changed on that front really yes that 0 to 62 mile per hour time has dropped I really don't think it matters. You've got your three drive modes down here. You've got Eco, Comfort and Sport. If you stick it in Sport, if you're in an MG5, I'm not really sure why you'd be that bothered. Everything sort of sharpens up a bit, bit more throttle response. Absolutely no issues with the acceleration despite this having lost a little bit of its performance. Steering, it's a bit heavy in Sport, but generally it's predictable, it's fine. Quite a lot of body roll through the corners. Who really cares? It is one of those cars that in truth is quite unremarkable through and through and yet, it's kind of remarkable for that very fact because it's just such a straightforward, practical, sensible car. And I like that about it. Big boot, good pricing, it's comfortable. The ride is really decent. It has gone up in price, but with the new infotainment, new styling, it feels a bit more modern and a bit more up to date. I would estimate, judging from what the official figures are, that you're gonna see something like 180 to 220 miles in varied real world use in the MG5, depending on the temperature and how you're driving. It will be, I think, still one of the best sellers in the UK. As long as MG can keep those monthly finance prices down, I don't think list prices are gonna dissuade people because this is such a practical, sensible, straightforward and honest car. And that, I think, is why people love it. And this facelift, well, it's just more of that, but better. Small changes they may be then, but overall it does make a big difference to the MG5, which is now quite easily one of the most recommendable family EVs that you can buy. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the Car Gurus UK YouTube channel and turn your notifications on so that you don't miss any of our videos. And don't forget to head to cargurus.co.uk where you will find a whole host of fantastic used cars.